I hope after this very exciting day one of the draft, the one lesson that everybody walked away from is that we can't predict the draft. We shouldn't say what can or cannot happen or what will not happen. We let, let's not be as as arrogant to to try to predict what's go, what's going to happen in the draft. You know, mocks are cool, but, you know, let's get away from the narrative of we know what can happen because you have no idea. You have no idea unless your name is Vach Lombardi and you kind of, you know, create this map to C.D. Lamb fall into the Cowboys and let's draft. Him, unless you create this scenario that kind of goes perfectly to a T and even the reasons why the other receivers got drafted prior to him, unless that happens to you, you can't just say what will not happen or what will happen. Um, but it's been a long four months to, uh, you know, uh, to uh, of this amazing draft process. Um, and to be able to get my favorite player, the player that I've been trying to campaign for for the past four months, to be able to get him on draft day um, kind of in the way that we kind of drew this thing up, it, it just made it even more special. A fantastic reaction I had, authentic reaction. Uh, I'm probably gonna, you know, chop that out and put it in its own video form. So, um, you know, celebration aside, man, we got work to do. We got film to break down. We got stuff to talk about and some nuance of this offense to get into. So let's run it for the cardio. So I think CD Lamb kind of fits the mold of the, you know, modern age offense and what these teams are trying to do with quick game offenses. You take a look at what um of what the 49ers did in the Super Bowl with, you know, Debo Samuel. And you know, a lot of people have been trying to compare Debo Samuel to a lot of these these quick game yak guy receivers, but um I think this is kind of appropriate. Even though CD Lamb is better than Debo Samuel, I'll get into some of those ideas later. But just the notion of okay, you don't have to do complete receiver things. You can get Amari Cooper to do complete receiver things or Michael Gallup to be your complete receiver. Um, but what's going to happen with, uh, you know, CD Lamb, of course, he can run your typical wide receiver routes. He does that really well. But I think what really makes him put the satin on the panties is when you get the ball to him on these bubbles, on these jailbreak screens, um, you can hand it off to him. You know, when he does these um, motion, uh, you know, motions, just sweeps, um, swings out of the backfield, all, all those different things you want to do to get the ball in the CD Lamb's hands quickly. You know, these rub routes and all that. Get him the ball and let him be unstoppable. Uh, I think he was the uh, the most, he, he he had the most broken tackles in college football, but not because he's running people over like Derrick Henry, right? Like, he, you know, he's not going to take years off of his playing career. You know, he's not one of those CTE guys, but he breaks tackles with anticipation, with reading angles and, you know, you know, just, just gauging where, where tackles are going to be, you know, when are they going to be there? And then just taking one small little step and just making guys miss he's more slippery than anything and i'm gonna show you some film examples of that later and uh, i think he's gonna start off playing slot for us right now can he play slot absolutely he played a lot of slot at oklahoma he had double digit touchdowns from the slot at oklahoma so you ain't gotta worry about him being out of place there but also, what you get from CeeDee Lamb, you get the versatility to put him outside. And, you know, the one thing that we've been trying to do as an offense for a while that we haven't been able to do is put Amari Cooper in the slot for a good, you know, for a good amount of the game. You don't want to keep Amari Cooper in the slot, but just for some particular matchups, you may want to put Amari Cooper inside and let him dog those matchups in there. Um, and CD Lamb also has the 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 size and ability to play from the outside. He, he understands how to use the sideline, you know, whether he's working the field or the boundary, whatever you want to do with CD Lamb. He gives you that versatility to um, to be able to move guys around in your offense, man. So you know whether he's inside or outside, bro, it's it's just gonna absolutely work for you. Um, even if it's a situation where you want to take the tight end off the field, take off Blake Jarwin and put young brother Tony in there and let Tony play um, play the other inside receiver. Hey, let him rock. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna knock any any kind of creativity, man. You wanna you wanna get your best athletes on the field. This may be your package for best athletes on the field, right? Get Ezekiel Elliott in there and just kind of let him rock. Now y'all know I've been trying to get Zeke to 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 play wide receiver for a while. We've been trying to get him lined up in one of those packages just for a minute um you know we just kind of got to wait that out and see what happens here but if zeke doesn't end up being a um you know like a uh you know if he's not involved in the passing game more often then that's what young what, what young cousin tony's gonna be for tony can line up in a slot and i think he's he's uh probably gonna get a lot of work there um or we can 
run into these two wide receiver sets, right? Well, we could just run our three receivers like normal and just keep our two running backs in the backfield. And Tony can just play matchup game and beat these linebackers out of the backfield. Whatever you want to do with Tony, man, there's 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 no limit to what we can do in terms of our creativity. And I hope brother Mike McCarthy do the right thing. Jason Garrett will never let us waste this opportunity. So, uh, you know, if, if we truly feel like we got to upgrade him in, in, um, in Mike McCarthy, let's run it for the cardio then. But um, this one of the formations that we that, that we really should be looking forward to the empty formation, man. Let's get let's get Coop and Gallup on the outside, man. Um, you know, CD at the main slot. Tony just kind of flex him wherever you can get him room at. You know, sometimes it could be a it could be a um, trips right look. You know, you can line three receivers up to the right and put Blake Jarwin in line at tight end, or you can displace um, um, Blake Jarwin and put him at one of your receivers and just kind of run mismatches like that. You can do a lot of different things, man. You can line. You can line Blake Jarwin up at the X and put Cooper on the inside just for the hell of the mismatch. You can read um, whether they run in zone or man coverage. You know, you, you can do a lot of stuff, man. You can do a lot of stuff. And I'm a big fan. But I just wanted to show y'all a little bit of this film because C.D. Lamb is indeed fantastic, ladies and gentlemen. Um, you know, we're just going to run the film, man. If I find something worth stopping, man, we're just going to stop it. But, uh, hey, man, we'll just, hey, let's stop it. <laughs> let's stop the film. Let's stop it right there. <laughs> I think that's worth stopping. Rewind it. I think that's worth stopping. My guy. CD Lamb is going to do this a bunch. This is what we mean by slippery, right? That is considered a broken tackle, but he didn't run this dude over. He just kind of anticipated where he was going to be, and then he just made one small step and got away from him, right? He just made a small step and got away from him. Like, you know, as a yak guy, nobody's smoking CD Lamb. Nobody's better than CD Lamb as being a yak guy. You know, I, I know he runs like a 4 5 40, but all of your favorite receivers run a 4 5 40. So let's relax, okay? Um, CD Lamb working out of the slot, man. Just taking advantage of the spaces on the field, finding the open range, uh, the open um, the open holes in the zone, man, and then just being sneaky fast, right? I know he's running this 4 4 this four five forty, but I think he's sneaky faster than that, man. You know, he's not going to be a burner like Henry Ruggs or anything, but I do think he has enough... Um, he has enough speed to get away from guys. Why? Because I know, you know, you know, and somebody in my chat box, they're, they're going to mention the defenses that we're, that we're playing. But we got some top tier talent on some of these bad defense. The defense as a whole ain't great, but he still got to outrun some of these guys. Like, I mean, Baylor got a couple of pros on their defense, so let's not go there. But take a look at cd lamb man. he's gonna do a lot of this man a lot of these these shorter routes right just these shorter routes breaking to the outside right especially especially if they're gonna give him a lot of space get those get those shorter routes going to the outside and then become yak guy get the ball in your hand and just make it hard for these people to tackle you man it's more of an example of contact balance right here let me rewind this a little bit it's more so of his contact balance to where once again he's not really you know lowering his shoulder and running through people it's just that, you know, he's just not going down with arm tackles, right? You know, and, and, and hell, it's arm tacklers in the league. So, like, be careful with that. <laughs> be careful when you say, you know, what what is he not going to see in the National Football League or what he is or is not going to see because you're going to see arm, arm tacklers on that level too. So, if you're not tackling C.D. Lamb, good luck to you. See this right here? Another example, right? I'm using my momentum. I'm using the leverage of the run that we have. Run, 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 run. I know that you may beat me to the angle here. Cool. Let me just stop my feet. Boom. Get up field. Quick, fast, and in a hurry. And get the end, and just get to the end zone, man. What are we doing? What are we doing? CeeDee Lamb is the best receiver in this class, and the NFL should be ashamed for letting him fall this far. But I tell you what, buddy, I'm thankful to go get uh went to go get rugs i'm thankful i'm thankful jerry judy got drafted earlier i'm thankful all these all these uh all these offensive linemen you know went before us i'm thankful that bill o'brien traded uh deandre hopkins to the arizona cardinals to get the arizona cardinals out of the wide receiver race i'm thankful for all that because cd lamb just fell in our laps and it just it's just perfect man let me go back and look at this let me go back and look at this one, man. They're going to run this goofy-ass flea flicker that, that they didn't have to run. The CD Lamb just going to make it work for you. Ah, plant your feet. Ah, whoop. That ain't running people over. He didn't lower his shoulder to run anybody over here. He just anticipated these angles. You see what I mean? He's just taking those glide steps. He's so smooth. He's so slippery, man. Come on, son. Come on, man. I could do this all day, man. I can literally watch CD Lamb film all day, but I would literally just be, um, you know, 
reacting highlights and just screaming. We don't want to do that. And it's not like these are just flat out highlights. Like if you look at all his catches, he take a lot of them to the house, <laughs> right? Like if he had like 80 some catches, I mean, 30 of them are big plays out of those 80 catches. See what I'm saying? So he, his, his big play to catch ratio is insane, man. If you want a more in-depth, um, film session of cd lamb you can go check out my earlier cd lamb film session i dropped a much more in-depth uh film breakdown of him like his you know traits and all that this is more so where he's gonna line up and just a refresher on some of the film um that we that we looked at you know just some different film that we did look at earlier um and of course i i encourage you all to do the research on your own you know i was going to show the uh he had a touchdown versus lsu or whatever right and i, I would have showed that game but i didn't want the college football illuminati to come take my video down but when you do research on your own go to the youtube and go watch oklahoma versus lsu man he did fine in that game he had like well like 80 yards and a touchdown in that game or something like that so he can even do it against sec talent it's not just this these big 12 schools that he's doing it up against so Hey, man, after you watch this video, go check out my other CD Lamb film session. I'm super excited. Uh, we got a lot of film to break down this week. Um, we're probably going to do a live stream, like a Cowboys live stream, just to talk about CD Lamb and get some reactions on that later on. This video is going to come out early. And um, then we're going to do a live reaction um, draft live stream mm -hmm. of uh, day two, of day two, of rounds two and three. And we just gonna run it for the cardio. All right, y'all hold it down for the Doski, Woski, and the Peaski, Weeski, man. Salute. The YouTube Illuminati is taking money away from your favorite content creators, and people often ask the best way to support the channel directly. I tell them that subscribing on my Patreon. Just $1 a month would increase production and the frequency of uploads. Basically, that means more content for you. For less than a bag of almond M&Ms, you can support the channel, call dibs on requests for future videos, and you can have access to Patreon-exclusive material like my throwback film sessions. That's patreon.com slash Lombardi. I appreciate the support. Doski Woski. Salute.